Lions, I am Nasa LeVette, Brooke Riggins, and Ariana Anderson. Today we will be informing you about certain diseases. Now we will be interviewing E. coli. Hi. 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 So, E. coli, how are you caused? I am caused by contaminated food and water. What are your symptoms? Bloody diarrhea, severe cramp, vomiting, fatigue, gas, fever, and nausea. How are you treated? I am treated by home remedies. Okay. So, do you look at yourself as popular or harmful? A little bit of both. Why? Because, why well, I'm saying I'm popular because I'm on Fox 5, Jerry Springer, I've been in hospitals, on Twitter, Snapchat, everything. Okay. Thank you for your time. Now, and now we will have Ebola. How are you called? I come from touching infected animals, okay? What are your symptoms? My symptoms are fever, headache, and bleeding. How are you treated? I am treated in hospitals by doctors. Do you think you're popular or harmful? I think I'm popular because I'm on the news, websites, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Kick, YouTube, everything. Okay, thank you for coming. We're back, Lions! This is the DCN News Channel. We're live! So now we are going to interview the investigator, George Sulphur and Mary Mallard. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. So, Investigator Sulphur, what did you determine what was going on with Mary? Well, I got some samples of Mary feces and urine. So, I read some tests about her and I it confirmed that she had typhoid fever in her. Okay, so Mary, how did you feel when people kept ambushing you and telling you all these crazy things like you're killing people and you're getting people sick and you're harming people? How did you feel? I felt very confused because they say that I am I'm a carrier of this disease, typhoid fever, but I've never been sick with it. And also, according to the Bill of Rights Amendment 4, they ambushed my home without coming in with my, my, without my permission. Okay. So, investigate. So, what other, what other things you came down with to let us know that Mary carry typhoid fever in her system. Well, I already mentioned I got her samples of her feces and confirmed that. But I also found out that a lot of New York City people, they were getting sick. She got hired by a New York, a New York rich family. And then she was a cook and she cooked for them. So she, they hired her. So when she cooked the food, it the typhoid fever was in the food and it was served to the, the family and many of the family members in the house died. Well, we heard that there were many other people who had typhoid in their system. What did you do with those people? Well, I did not hold them, hold them under quarantine. Could you explain to us what quarantine is? Well, quarantine is when, pe is when people that's dangerous like typhoid, like Mary Mallon, that um, they get held and like captive, so they will get so that they will get other people sick. Okay, but I also have a question for an Investigator Sofer. That the people that I, I have gotten sick, that the people that I, I have gotten sick, they have been cured, but they are also healthy um, carriers. But you did not put them in isolation like me. Well. The reason we put you in isolation and not them because you're like the main problem. Like no offense, but you had like the most like lots of people kill like the most like the biggest record of killing people. Like I know you didn't do it on purpose, you did it on an accident, but it just for the coming good that we held you, hold you on the quarantine and not them. Yes, but I was a healthy carrier, and the people who that had gotten cured, they were healthy. But they, what if they were still spreading it? Are, are all of them going to be held in captive? No, but you're just like you're a healthy carrier. But 
we just we just trying to make you not get other people sick like you did yourself because you already got a lot of people sick and we don't want nobody else to get sick. Okay. Okay. So, was this an epidemic or a pandemic? It was an epidemic. Can you please explain to me what that is? An epidemic is when, for example, four schools would get sick, so it's like county-wise or like state-wise. Okay, thank you. And this was the DCN News Channel Live. Hello, Lions. I am Amber Huddleston. Asal Mohammed And Christopher Smith. Today, we will discuss about Mary Mellon, typhoid fever, and interview smallpox and chickenpox. Hello, chickenpox. Hello. Hello, smallpox. Hi. Okay, chickenpox. How are you caused? I am caused through contact of an infected person. Okay. What are your symptoms? My symptoms are scabs, rashes, red spots, fever, fatigue, and loss of appetite. Okay, how are you treated? I am treated by home remedies. Okay, do you think you're popular or harmful? I'm popular? Okay, give me a reason why. Because I won the news today. Alright, smallpox. How, yes. are you, how are you caused? I spread from person to person through air droplets that escapes when an, inf when an infected person talks, coughs, or sneezes. All right. What are your symptoms? Skin rashes, scabs, small bumps, and pimples. How are you treated? With doctors. Like, do you think you're popular or harmful? I'm popular. I don't believe I'm harmful because when you have smallpox, you're not deadly you you don't have a chance of dying so i'm definitely popular we've come to you today to teach you about our epidemic unit and everything that we've learned this, this is the dcn news signing off